Good morning. Next door's kids are having a piano lesson. They're not very good. Hey, up, Shizuma. Are you ready for your breakfast now? What do you think about the other cat? What do you think about Spear? You don't even know that she exists, do you? Because you don't go to that back room. It's probably for the best, isn't it? Oh, they're nice scratches. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're good. <laughs> Should we take you some breakfast? Okay, then. You alright, Papa Foot? No! What are you in the mood for? Yeah. Don't worry, you're still in the top three of cats in this house. I'm kidding. You want to go out? Look at it, it's wet out there. You crazy cat. Okay, knock when you want to come in. Right, let's check on this one. There she is. Wow. Wow. Good morning. I know. People think you're an old cat, but you're not old, are you? You're a kitten still. Still a kitten. Yeah, you just got old features. You just got an old face. Yeah, you little purry girly. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I know. Right, we should get you some breakfast too, I suppose, isn't it? Okay, after a little cuddle, fair enough. So finally, good morning. Done the rounds, all cats fed and watered and everything, and obviously a little stroke and stuff. Um, yes, Fleabag is, um, she's looking at a hell of a lot better than what she did the other day because we have given her a flea treatment combed her she needed a good combing because like she's got she's actually a long haired cat um and she needed a good grr. so did that also gave her like a dry bath so got um a bunch of um like suitable wet wipes and just give her like a rough toweling all over um she's not very good at cleaning herself um which is, yeah. um, but she does her face now, which is okay, where she wasn't before. Her eyes are clearing up, so she's actually opening her eyes a bit better. Keep like, just again, just dabbing like the bits away. She might have a, an eye infection. I'm pretty sure she's deaf or at least like, just really, really like bad hearing. I can't see any mites in her ears. Um, but at some point um, I might, just take her to the vets anyway i could wait until um so there's jan who we got tilda from so she runs like part of the cat sanctuary thing so she has a bunch of hers uh like at hers she normally has upwards of like 20 odd cats at hers um and she's like bursting at the seams at the moment but they normally take them to shepherd's vets not mice glass um so I might just see if we can do that, like not wait for her to take them, um, but actually just do it ourselves. And if there's treatment needed, then I'll just pay for it because like, we'll just count that as a donation towards the charity in a way, isn't it? Because otherwise they would have to pay for it. Um, but we'll see, she might not need it. She might not need it. She might just be, you know, deaf and hungry. That's why she does that. <laughs> because deaf cats tend to have just like weird meows because they haven't learnt from humans like what noises we like because you know we like the kind of ones or the ow um, and obviously she just goes <laughs> oh. anyways right um, had a good day yesterday because we did my favourite whatnot show, which was the Dark Academia show. And um, yep, there was only a few bits left, which um, I'm quite, I mean, 
of the bits that are left, I'm, I'm surprised that they didn't sell, but I'm not unhappy about it. Um, because, and there wasn't that many, I think there's only four bits, which out of 70, that's bloody amazing. Like, I'm really chuffed with that. So I've got a big old tub of posts going out today, which is really cool. Plus there's some eBay orders that I've already done, that I did them over the weekend. And now I've got another 10 eBay and 4 Etsy to do, which is quite nice. Quite nice that uh, things are selling over on the old Etsy as well. So that's rather lovely. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Anyways, I best, you know, get on with like what it is that I've got to actually do today work-wise. And, you know, stop fussing about cats a bit. But yeah, I've got to actually do some work today, damn it. Oh. Okay, this is what is going out, what's going out, what's going out. A hey, me and M white cotton blouse that I bought the other week for £3.50 when we went to Neath. Yes, Neath. I was trying to remember, like, like I remember walking down, where's that? Is that it? It's Neath. Um, that went for £40, took an offer on that one. Um, this I bought from the car boot sale over the summer. It's a little Spike Meerkat. Isn't he a cutie patootie? I bought it off the jewellery lady. Um, she was like, I don't know why I've got a stife bear, but, you know, I've got some jewellery and a stife bear. So I was like, I'll have some jewellery and a stife bear. Well, me a cat. Um, and he went for $29.99. Oh, enjoy your new home. I hope it's nice. See, we're just rehoming all animals, aren't we? Um, a job lot of costume jewellery rings. There's just over 80 rings in there. That went at auction for £27.00. And a penny. Um, and then a job lot of broken brooches. That went for £9. So have fun fixing those up. That's pretty cool. A two kilogram job lot of costume jewellery. That went for £19.99. Um, the little handmade little knitting, like um, knitting needles brooch. That went for £6.99. A treaty brutalist style bracelet went for seven pounds a tisento i bought this in the car boot sale over the summer as well tisento is an italian brand um normally does like big silver things but this is like a cool bangle with a bit of silver in it um but that's the bangle it's rather nice nicely presented as well in this like little pouch and box um that went for 25 pounds 59 you go there's the box um, a long black glass beaded necklace. If you don't own a long black glass beaded vintage necklace, then you should have one because you just should. And uh, that went for ten ninety nine. A Silpada designs with a turquoise colour face watch that went for a tenner. And then over on Etsy, a sterling silver and opal little butterfly pendant necklace. You see the little opal butterfly in there. That went for, it looks like about £35, something like that. Um, it's an eye on like this posting screen, it doesn't, it tells you the total, not the item, but there we are. Um, from France, this little Victorian style hand pendant, that went for, I'm guessing about £12, that one. A nine carat gold cameo, see, told you cameos are in, folks. Um, this is actually going to Portucket. Where's that? Where's Portucket? That's R.I. I don't know. Put wherever Portucket is in America. Um, but lovely little cameo ring that one. That one went for guessing about a hundred pounds on that one. And a oh, this is pretty. A sterling silver and rose quartz. Lovely rose quartz beads, um, and that went for about £16, I think. So that's what I've got to package up today. I shall arrange for all this lot's collection for tomorrow, because that's all today's stuff. Let's not go confusing Posty or me. Um, and yeah, then I've got to do some listing. Um, I'm not doing like auctions at the moment on the run up to Christmas. I might just like relist as auctions like old stuff just to have like some kind of you know some auctions running it's always good but um <clears throat> i'm not reducing any prices on them 
I'm just going to set them as auctions um, and that's it. Um, but everything else now, other than things that I don't know where to settle on prices for, um, such as I'm going to list that kaleidoscope as well, but that'll be an auction because that's something that I just don't know. I don't know where to price it at, so we'll just let it find a price. But yeah, everything else I'm just going to do is buy it now, I think. Yeah, and I've got a bunch of, I've got a job lot of broken jewellery to list and a job lot of watches. Which I actually, I had taken down. It had previously been um thing, but it had bids on it and then the bids were getting high. Um, It's because there's a Rolex in there, but obviously it's not a Rolex. Like, if people were really bidding, thinking that I was just going to put a roll and a real Rolex. So I'm going to take the faux Rolex out, start the bidding again, let them bid, and then when they bought it, I'll chuck in the faux Rolex as well. There we go. It just seems a bit silly, but there we are. Hmm. How are we? Right, best get on with stuff then. Right, I'm going to be a good girl and I'm going to list some of the, well, the stuff that didn't sell in yesterday's show. So, beautiful gold cameo. Beautiful. I mean, this is insanely gorgeous. Or do I keep it? I don't know. I'm not decided yet. Um, A little lantern. Um... Beautiful silver bangle, a guard chain, Edwardian guard chain, and this awesome um, agate wax seal monogrammed stamp. Isn't that lush? Yeah, so I'm going to list them on my Etsy now. Right, listing is done. Um, I'm going to have a spot of lunch. It's one o'clock now. I'm going to have bacon and coleslaw in a low carb bap. Looks yummy. Right, this is the RSPCA. And that is the sign that says found young cat ask inside and so i did i said like oh i'm i've got that cat by the way and they said no you haven't like what uh there's another cat another tabby cat young that's been found in the same area so we're wondering if it's two cats from the same household um that have just been dumped so the other one is being looked after as well by one of the volunteers in there so that's good um, yeah, isn't that sad? Poor things. <sighs> oh well. Um, I'm not having a wander around town. I don't know why I'm still walking in this direction. It's just because I'm facing you. Hello, deaf as a post cat. Hello. Hi. Hello. Boop. Hi. <laughs> you alright? Did you have another cat with you? Is it your mummy or your sister? Well, there we go. That's my day today. Um, I'm going to be off now because I'm off out in a bit. Um, off to bingo with the boys because why on earth not? Eh? Right, so I shall probably catch you tomorrow, maybe. We shall see anyway. Bye-bye now, bye-bye.